Yeah, that's what they uh, say. T and then T, you'll have to go pee. It's like uh, beer and liquor, never sicker. T and then T, gonna need to pee. Hey, folks. <laughs> I'm the Mysterious JG. And I'm Zerfal. And that's some um, hot life tips there. Hot life tips. Now we've been making you guys wait. You've had a couple of days of tense, tense tension. What's up the stairs? What a fucking phrase. Tense tension. What's up the stairs? We're going to find out. After a, this battle. After this combat. <laughs> after running away from these um, beginners. They really are beginners. They play their stupid s s sad note. And uh, it does like three damage. Everyone's like, yeah, oh. So you just, just learned how to play that? Oh, wow. Look what's up the stairs. It's more stairs. It's turtles all the way up. Turtles on the half shell. Or heroes on the half shell. Turtle power. And so we're actually getting quite a bit of snow, I noticed, when I went outside. I didn't okay. think it looked that bad from up here, but it's... In good, Ontario? Uh, yes. Madness. It's probably another Colorado low affecting us. It seems to be the case uh, so far this year. Every time we've had a lot of snow, Colorado low has been affecting me. Chip stream. I don't know what snow. Colorado low means. I mean, Colorado is known for being pretty high these days. It's a low pressure system from Colorado. No pressure. It's like a system that's like no pressure, guys, whenever you can do it. I don't but uh, we're going to leave the snow here. No, no pressure. You don't have to shovel right away. But if you don't, uh, it's going to turn into ice. See, so they had another tower that seemed like it was supposed to be a huge tower in the game, and they just started you halfway up the tower or three quarters of the way up. Uh, cool and this this time game. they're making us actually. I want explode ball. I feel like we're supposed to. It's like at the end of Enchanter, where there's a couple of different places where you think you're supposed to use the one time destroy magical illusion spell, but you have to find different ways to beat all the other places it would be useful to have it for the infinite staircase that is an illusion. Mm-hmm. Well, Enchanter. That was frustrating, too. You had to, like, really plan, apparently like, all these, uh, in that point. Apparently all these tiles are heal tiles. Because it's supposed to be, like, the big slug fest. Fight your way up to the top of this. A goopy cape! A goopy cape! We got a goopy That's gotta cape. be for Babu! Well... No. I was kinda hoping he could equip it. But instead it's a goopy cape! It's for goopy! That is so adorable! He's wearing a cape made out of a different of his species' flesh. <laughs> Which game was it that caused you to make the joke about, um... Yeah, I'm a human, so I live in... Oh, the, yeah, it was this one. It was the Rock Town. It's like, yeah, I live in a, in a house made of humans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, the sky is getting different as we climb. I think it's meant to simulate the passage of time. Yeah, is getting more ominous? It's getting darker. Just like those uh, daisy-chained Tardises. Oh my god. No, so we're getting Why higher. Are you still think... going? Why are you still going up? It's getting darker. I know. We're supposed to be piercing more the cloud clouded. cover, I guess. So we've come up here to get rid of the ozone layer. By using flatulence up here. Super, <laughs> you found Shadow Brace. Shadow Brace? I'll turn your teeth into shadow teeth. I suppose if we could run up. away. Oh, sorry. You were saying? No, oh, I was making a bad joke about shadow braces. Gotcha. Shadow bracers are what you need to hold up your shadow pants if you don't have a shadow belt. <laughs> I suppose if we couldn't run away from these enemies, there would be a certain, uh, you know, magic, uh, magic tower from Final Fantasy 3. Yes, mm -hmm. it was called Final Fantasy 3. Fuck you purists but the um the guy like the one where like you find strago outside and you have to have realm in your party to shake him out of it and blah 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 that place mm -hmm. is like a real grind and i guess this would feel like that too if we couldn't run away from the enemies easily but we can't was, run away the one enemy that turned invisible well you could use death on automatically that was always magic cool. had a hundred percent hit rate in that game if someone was invisible which was exploitable as i recall oh yeah yeah if you if you cast invisibility on 
on any boss, you could one-hit them. That would be a fun game to Let's Play if it hadn't been Let's Played a million times and didn't have a million other games, but... So, uh, Sky Dragon, you want to show up here? Oh, uh, here we go. He's like, I'm in the sky. Oh no, it's going to be the Queen of Zeal! We should have had Magus in our party for this. Nah. Oh, this is pretty badass. I I'm digging this. Yeah. Oh, oh, and then the cartoony lion dragon. I say, it's not really that impressive hey looking at a dragon after all that. It is that. Welcome, Fire Shell Welcome Hero. Fire Shell Hero. Oh, go ahead. I am the one and only wind dragon. Thunder. Thunder. Thunder dragons. Oh. I am also one of the four shell dragons in this endangered world. If you wish to call upon my wind power, you must first defeat me. What if we don't care about your wind power? <laughs> and one last lightning strike at the end. Okay, this is a little more badass here. Yeah, that's that's significantly scary. I mean, it's not super scary, super scary monster story, but... So he should be immune to Earth, you would think. Yeah, so flying fire. this many floors above the ground, but... Try machine gun. But the advice from the guide on this one is... Well, Earth, he is not hard to beat. <laughs> oh, huh. Okay, thanks for the advice, uh, guys. Wind burst. Oh, see, they all start off with a burst attack, which fucks us up, although that wasn't that bad. Beefy McBeefington attack. Apparently we're just eating, like, meat, beef that used antibiotics. <laughs> it's a delicious new chalupa made out of seasoned beef that's been shaped into, um, chalupa. Oh, wow. We can see his ass is not actually on fire. No. Oh, that did nothing. Great. Okay. Not bad. That was like triple his damage. And it didn't even take a turn to charge up. I forget. Did the flame shot actually do any good? It did. Suppose we don't actually know what his damage would have been had we not done that, but um, we'll try poisoning this guy. I don't think it's going to work, but it, uh, it has a lasting effect when it does, so it's worth trying. Mm -hmm. What's the worst you're going to lose? One turn? Okay, so he's, oh, got, he's... he's doing it more than once. He's a multi-burster. Uh... Oh, wow, so he's... Um... Yeah. Hey, it actually hey there worked. we go. I have no reason not to keep flame shotting them. I'm gonna try a vicious bite. The chomp. <laughs> I want my catfish hot and spicy. Chomp. So Earth didn't seem to do anything to him. The Earth Dragon didn't do anything to him. I, uh... No, which makes me think no Earth will. Yeah. We could uh, dash people. Speed up gives you a better chance of getting a lucky attack. So we can heal 60 all. We'll keep doing that, but he is doing more than 60 per, so eventually that's not going to be enough if he keeps doing... Oh, but he switched to something. Okay, he switched to something wimpy. So he only he only burst twice in a row. It's not like he was going... Uh... I think he just bursted once, and we thought he was done, and there was a little bit more to burst out of there. Yeah. Well, as long as he's not going tantric on us, we're okay. Hey, 300 damage off of the chomp attack. He does like his... Catfish hot and spicy. Yeah, this is vicious. It is vicious and delicious. I wonder if it has a lower hit attack or a percentage or something. Or if we just need to be using this dude's awesome uh, magic all the time. Okay, so I needed to lay off with uh, his magic because we're about to use it all up. But it appears <laughs> that we're just uh, going to win this battle. Well, I mean, now. there's no reason not to use it all up on a boss fight. Good point. I mean, we got magic healing stuff. 
Well, and by the time uh, we're done with this, we can. He's using his axe face. while chomping. It's like well, he's that's why it does so much damage. Yeah. I mean, if we're gonna go to the fire guy after this, uh, we have to hit up Guardian Village on our way there anyway. That's true. I guess we can try the uh, Aqua Dragon out. Mm. Ah, I guess we'll see if defending does anything against Wind Burst. Looks like maybe it did. Yeah, only 38. Although it might be because of a Koopy Cape or something. Yeah, it did some. It was better than kicking the pants, which only does uh, 102 damage. Nothing is like doing the devastating damage that the water dragon was doing against the land dragon, though. No, and apparently when we get to the fire dragon, that like the water dragon's like the bee's knees. of uh, Prince Henry IV, or Hal, Prince Hal, who would later become Henry V. Shakespeare does. <laughs> what I'm saying is there's a character named Hotspur in Henry IV Part One. okay? Excellent! Hero who bears the combo shell, I will lend my strength! Are those like pizza flavored combos or. No, they're uh. They're more like uh, Panzerati's. <laughs> you may now call upon my power of wind whenever you need it! <laughs> yeah, we got enough of that from Poyon already. Yeah, there you go. Oh man, he shot. I like the fact that I referenced Henry the Fourth Part One and made a fart noise in the same video, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> You're hitting uh, both hitting both ends of the spectrum. We're ready to warp on out of here. I think so. Exit, yeah. Oh, one of the stars. We must have climbed up one more flight of stairs. <laughs> So we might uh, we might just finish off these dragons in this video here. Yeah, we should warble to what you call it first, uh, Mosswood. Mosswood. Yes. I will take your word for it. <laughs> it was probably one in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Come up here, and Garu is in the middle of a huge side quest. So I think it's the... Let us up! There you go! You want to go to the right. Into that one that lets you buy... Oh, you want to buy wooden dolls. Yeah, I do. We should also probably stay the night. Well, now we no longer have max cash, so I don't feel the need to uh, buy wooden dolls anymore. These people give us... Dolls for our cash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dolls for cash. Is this actually where you buy the uh, logical? Yes. Is this actually where you buy them, or is it just near the shop where you buy them? I thought it was around here somewhere. I thought it was like the the special thing that they made in this town. Yeah, there we go. Right. Oh man, fifty thousand! Holy crap! They are expensive. You can never buy more than one at a time. Well, there you go. Dog. We don't have max money anymore. Yeah. Turns you know, out. if you can die once, you can die twice. You only live twice. Mm. Maybe get more wooden dolls in. In this world in which we live <laughs> in. So now we can head on down to Guardian Village. Where the... Uh, head on down to Guardian Village fire. town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for some reason the fire dragon lives in there instead of in the volcano that the earth dragon lives in. I guess maybe he's subletting his volcano to the earth dragon. I think the earth dragon like kicked him out. And the chameleon village is as close as we're going to get to that. Uh, they won't let me warple there. I swore we could get there before. I thought we hmm. could too. Oh, 
Now, there was some quest we're supposed to do at Chameleon Village, too, isn't there? Aren't we supposed to, like, rescue... We're supposed to, like, find frozen... Oh, that's right! We're supposed to go back to that frozen cave that we already went through. Yeah, yeah, so we already... No, well, we don't have to go back there. We have to uh, just use the item that we got there. In... Oh, do you want to do that before or after? Let's deal with these dragons. Yeah, we've been we've been doing enough side quests. People can. Some well, I, don't think, I think they're both probably required story. I'm not sure what happens if. Oh you yeah, it looks like it might be. Don't deal with the dragons. The dragons are probably going to give us like a power up for the sword. So instead of being the Cancer Sword or the Sagittarius Sword, it becomes like the Aries Sword or some. I've gone too far already. Yeah, the world's smaller than it seems. The world is square. We got some news. Yeah, oh, went too far. I do like some of the music in this game. That overworld in the boat theme is rather nice. This is one of the weirder looking submarines. Yeah, actually, we went right by. I just didn't notice that this was it. It's not a very big island. No, it's like Easter Island. Without the head. And it's just as big a threat so to you. So, an island. It's, and it's just as big a threat to you as uh, if you were the pilot in Gradius. Oh, whoa! Hey, what's oh, man. going on? Oh, Avatar is I. Kushula. Kushulia? Kushuela. Maybe. Kushuela. It is I, Kushuela. Thank you for telling me how to say my name. No problem. I heard that you visited here earlier, so I showed up and killed everyone. I'm very relieved to see you've returned at this crucial time. I haven't regained my senses fully, but I did catch up on my sleep. I got concussed, so I figured I would sleep it off. The Guardians took good care of me, but something terrible has happened. Donald Trump has been elected president. <laughs> Topical. Yeah. Just a short time ago, monsters came, similar to those seen elsewhere. <laughs> They're Muslims, so we banned them from coming to our... Okay, I'm stopping now. This under-equipped sect never stood a chance, but I was able to hide. I'm like them, somehow. No, it's not like the gentle sect insulted some fake prophet or god. Now they're getting political. <laughs> yeah. No, these slaughters were not from the one of those crazy... <laughs> totally different kind of joke, crazy. crazy. This game's getting really political. These particular monsters seem to just kill for the pure enjoyment of it. Mm. Amazingly, the spirits of the sect were smiling as their vapors rose. Their vapors? One would think they were actually being called to a better place. Now I must reach Eternal Valley. I can't tell you why, but please. But, girl, please. <laughs> I'm begging you to escape me to ex escape from this dreadful situation. Mmm, and a yes-no situation. Nope, no time. Not after what you said about vapors. Yeah, we don't want to catch the vapors from you. Hey, I won't make it if you leave me behind. Uh, okay, Avatar? You'll help me you've helped me survive before, so please rescue me from this place. Now this is the type. I was gonna say this is the type of game where actually if you say no enough. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but they just they, they completely recycled it though. They didn't. Thanks, Avatar. I'm happy, so happy to finally get to travel with you. Yeah, well you could have oh, traveled man, with us a long time ago, actually. Yeah, a giant train of people over this one. Oh, because she's going to join us along with uh, our robot who's dressed as Carmen San Diego, huh? Wow, she really is. The Guardian suffered grievous casualties and succumbed to this tragedy. So they're not like the Guardians in Breath of Fire 3, who are kind of like badass. These guys are kind of not. I keep checking each one, hoping that they will have, like, a greater healing potion or arrows that I can, um... <laughs> oh no, I can't 
can't even use their bed? Their collective bed? Nope. Nope. Somebody... That's somebody dead. Someone died, and that's their bed. You don't want to sleep in that. Oh, I don't think I ever told you. Um, this is a totally true story. I, uh... Had moved I only a, sleep in dead beds. Well, I had moved to a new town once, and, uh... I was staying with friends, but, like, there was this kind of sudden pressure to get me my own place and get me out of there. Uh, and, um, I ended up, like, really being uh, pressured to find an apartment quickly. And an apartment became available because, like, it was somebody's garage apartment in, like, they rented out their garage in their house because, like, they had a big house, but their kids had moved away and blah, blah, blah. And then I found out after I moved in, like, oh, and it's already furnished, and I was, but it was really cheap, and I was like, oh, okay. And I found out it was because the guy who used to live there died, and, like... And no one came and took his stuff. No one came and took his stuff, so all, like, dead guy's furniture was there. And I, I bought a new mattress because the mattress is incredibly uncomfortable, but other than that, I was, like, using the dead guy's stuff. Then I, um... Is this the right... Did we go into that? I think you're going in the right direction. Okay. But at the same time, I was also looking for, I was like, well, this place is cheap, but I still need some kind of, like, part-time job or, you know, full-time job or temp job or something. And um, I was looking for a while, and I was, like, getting temp work, but I wanted, like, a full-time job. And finally something uh, seemed to open up. But it, wa it was meant to be temp. Um, but it was like, yeah, this guy... It was the dead guy's job. No, the guy's been, the guy's been really sick, and uh, we just need you to come in until he gets better. And then the guy died. Oh jeez! And I, You're I just taking other people's lives. No, that was the thing. It was like it was getting really creepy. I was like, okay, I just got like dead guy's apartment, dead guy's job. Um, like not a good time to start dating because I'm gonna find out <laughs> after things have gotten really serious that she's like on the rebound from like dead guy relationship. <laughs> oh jeez! At least it wasn't the same dead guy. <laughs> Dead guy's job. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the same dead guy, yeah. Unless he, like, had faked his own death earlier to get out of this apartment. To get out of his lease, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. It's a disaster. But now I'm kind of, like, dead set to find this dragon before the video is over. But, um, it's obviously going to be plot, plot dragon when we find it. Like... These people who came and murdered the villagers probably came here to fuck up the dragon. Mm, could oh, be. No. <laughs> they're escaping from us. No! They're running away before we can run. Oh, you gotta kill that one now. Oh. Nope. <laughs> it's like, don't worry. He's like, ah, this one won't be able to run before we can run. I do know this dragon that kept saying, come back, I won't fight you now, but come back later. Come back later and there'll be plot. It is pretty annoying that we have to walk through this whole cave again and there isn't... Uh, ...any sort of... <laughs> Good luck with that! It's not really a puzzle if they just... No, it's just kind of fucking with you. Hey, Stoneface. Mr. Vimes. Well, one of these two is the right way down. I don't know which one it is anymore. I guess we'll find out. Oh, here's the trick. You have to press both of them this time. Hmm. It's like Brain Lord for SNES. Never, we'll never solve all these puzzles. Yeah, this game is impossible. How did I get through that maze in the first try? Alright, Fire Dragon, you better be ready with some answers, ass face. Oh, what the hell were those? <laughs> we hadn't fought those yet. <laughs> now you gotta walk around until we find one. I know, I'm like... Dark oh, soldiers. Dark soldier Barabbas. <laughs> I can't get... wait to get promoted. Shit's getting real now, son. 
I'm ashamed of I, I I remember like little details about that game. I remember how much I looked forward to each new episode of it when it was coming out, and I have no recall whatsoever what the actual plot was, other than that you were <laughs> blind for like a while. <laughs> Did she ever really get her vision back? I think so. She did. I think the Barabbas, did they turn out to be like clones or something? Uh, yeah, they were. Something funny was going on with them Barabbas, I tell you. Something not right about those Barabbas. Oh man, does all cure work on it? It sure Yes! Does. Finally! See, it's like you can't actually save there. They're just messing with you. Oh, although we should have saved state. This is a giant's save point. You can't save here unless you're at least 60 feet tall. You must be this tall to save at this save point. Alright, Fire Dragon. Either let us fight you or tell us what's going on or both. Wait. Wait, what? No, oh, jeez. Oh, good, it doesn't let you go back. <laughs> I was like, well, that would be a pretty big dick move from the... Wait a minute, we could have just gone in that way the whole time, probably. Oh, you're probably right. I see that you have the support of the Wind Land and Aqua Dragons. By the way, uh, those villagers who were making sacrifices to me it suddenly stopped. Do you know what happened there? However, to learn the way to Eternal Valley, you must prove yourself to me. Well, that's why we're here. Um... So, Where is Eternal Valley? He's got nothing to say about the, these dead villagers? I'm gonna assume we don't want to do a bunch sacrifice of... once a month or something, and he's like, oh, well, they're a little late, but that happens sometimes. Return party one. So I'm thinking we don't want to be doing a bunch of fire attacks on him. Mm, probably not. Protect from fever. Raise all statistics. Which I was more impressed by before I found out there's a spell for that called Beefy. So we could go with Whirlpool, but ice is what you need against this guy, I believe. What, what's Bubble Bomb? It's the Bubble Bomb! We don't really have the party that has a lot of ice magic at its disposal. Have, here. have the last guy use the, the water... Dragon. Mm, part of me wants to make him ready to heal, but... Oh, Aqua, Aqua. Dragon. <laughs> we haven't tried using Beefy more than once per battle. I, I kind of feel like it's a one you can boost once. Yeah, you'd think that. Well, you never know. Oh, he's not even bothering to waste time with a... Powerful attacks. He's like, you guys aren't worth my time. I'm just whipping my tail back and forth. Oh, that's gonna be oh, that's gonna be the thing right there. Bubble bomb, not bad either. Let's try whirlpool instead of bubble bomb, and let's try poison, and let's keep going with the aqua dragon. Although we gotta switch to having. The white super shell monster to uh, that because he's got the most MPs. Crimson Force. Here's his thing that we are going to like fear. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Crimson Guard Twin Attack. See, see, I can do that too. <laughs> Not quite as good as Bubble Bubble Bomb though. Although I think he'd got like 138 damage or something like that, so. As long as I guess we don't get hit twice. With two different crimson forces is. Well, I mean twice twice more oh. <laughs> before he does a regular attack so we can heal up more in between. Awesome. Hey, you can't what? do that, you jerk! Styles. How are we supposed to win if you get to 
be effective. You should have a... I mean, you should try Chomp. It might do more damage anyways, even though it's not elemental. It's pretty effective on the last guy. Oh, I haven't tried Lick either. Oh, yeah, you can, you can trip out, though, if you do that. Look at all the secre secretions he has around him. That's true. Just a giant mutated tree frog. I guess the healing himself for 2,000 hit points kind of stops you from cheesing him with that dragon attack, but I don't know how else you're doing enough damage to defeat him, actually. Nope, he fell down while licking. I guess. So I guess he was like a poison tree frog. Let's try snapping at him. You get into a choreographed knife fight. <laughs> How, when 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 else are we ever going to use these items? Should we use these? <laughs> use the blizzard one. It sounds more badass. Oh. Uh, for, uh, for a second, I thought that was the item. I was like, oh, it's the exact same as the, as the wow. dragon. How powerful is that? How is this a blizzard? It's made out of water. Oh, good. He's using this stupid ass tail attack. Blizzard balls. Balls are colder than a. You just threw a snowball at him. That's colder than the balls on a brass monkey. It seems like most of these blue magic attacks are just like, here's various ways to just hit them with your axe. Well, that was fucking useless, so let's use up the ice one and just get it used. Unless this actually wins it, which I would be totally fine with. I was totally fine with that. We earned <laughs> 2,000 experience, folks, and all sorts of exciting plot shit's gonna happen next time, probably, maybe. So tune in next time when we find out what our reward is for defeating that dragon, other than that we probably get to summon him. Uh, presumably the story will advance in some other way, but if not, I... I guess we'll be trying to find, to use the item that we got in the ice cave to advance that plot. Mm -hmm. Something will be happening next time, and I hope you'll be with us to see it. I'm the Mysterious JG. I'm Zerfall. Thank you guys very much for watching, and please join us next time for more of Super Shell Monster Story. Remember, Poyan is winking at you in the hopes that you will come for future flatulent excitement. Bye. Bye.